Good morning children. Today's class we will start with the new chapter unit 6 health and hygiene. So in our previous class we have seen till unit 5 that is living world of plants unit 4 and unit 5 living world of animals. So now we will continue with unit 6 health and hygiene. Let us see the introduction of health and hygiene. What do you mean by health? The word health refers to a state of complete emotional and physical mental well-being. Health care exists to help the people to maintain this optimal state of health. So what is health children? Being healthy, a person is being healthy is not only fit enough physically. So a person should be physically fit, mentally strong and emotionally strong. Okay. So according to the definition of men, WHO that is World Health Organization, they define health as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Okay. So, this is a definition, proper definition given by the WHO that is World Health Organization. It is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. It means what a person is without disease or any other disorder in the body is not only considered as a healthy person. So, a person is considered healthy only when he is physically fit, mentally fit and socially fit. Okay, then only a person is called as a healthy person. Are you clear? Now. So, for being healthy, what we have to do? The first and foremost thing is being, that is, keeping ourselves hygienic, personal hygiene, good manners. What do I mean by personal hygiene? When you wake, wake up in the morning, ask me your mom to have a cup of coffee, coffee? No. Hygiene is a science of the establishment and maintenance of health conditions or a practice that is cleanliness cleanliness practice so what you have to do when you get up in the morning brush your teeth regularly it is as important as a part of good oral hygiene it's important first and foremost thing right then washing your hands regularly taking bath regularly trimming of your nails all these are a what personal hygiene okay so you have to follow all these methods to being to keep yourself personally hygiene okay next components of food so the chemical constituents of food which gives us energy which gives us energy and helps to build our body and protect us from the disease or called nutrients. So, for being healthy, what, we, what do we want? We want to take a healthy food, isn't it? So, what do you mean by a healthy food? The food you intake, the food you take in should contain all the major nutrients, the basic nutrients necessary for our body okay so what are the nutrients in which way the nutrient help us the nutrients help us to give energy it helps us to build our body it helps us to protect our body from the diseases okay so let us see what are the major nutrients necessary for our body so there are about six major nutrients necessary for our body what are they? Carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, 
proteins water and minerals so they are the essential nutrients which are required for our body for being healthy you need these nutrients as essential nutrients for our body okay now we'll start with carbohydrates what are carbohydrates the carbohydrates are energy giving component of the food so when we take in carbohydrates what do we get we get energy we get energy by taking in of carbohydrate food what do we get we get energy it's an energy giving component okay carbohydrate is an energy giving component okay so we have different forms of carbohydrate we have different forms of carbohydrates for example sugar starch dietary fibers etc so what are the sources for sugar we get sugar from fruits fruits we have sweetness no that is a form of sugar honey it is sweet okay cane sugar what is it cane sugar it's nothing but sugar cane and beetroot okay so they are the forms of sugar and next is the starch they are also another form of carbohydrates starch is available in the food items like rice maize potatoes etc okay and dietary fibers the fibers the whole grains whole grains are rich in dietary fibers and nuts okay so healthy carbs what do you mean by healthy carbs it is healthy carbohydrates they are there in vegetables fruits whole grains seeds nuts and beans okay now we will see in detail sugar so sugar is a form of carbohydrate sugar is a form of carbohydrate where it is richly available in the fruits sugar is available in fruits honey sugar cane and beetroot these are the sugar forms of carbohydrate these are the sugar forms of carbohydrate next is the starch form of carbohydrate what are the starch form of carbohydrate we get the starch as carbohydrates from rice maize potatoes etc okay these are the starch form of carbohydrates okay children next is dietary fibers so dietary fibers are nothing we, but we'll get the carbohydrates from dietary fibers as whole grains nuts etc so they are they are the form of dietary fibers so when we take in all this we get the complete form of carbohydrates are you clear so our basic food our basic need or uh, nutrient that is the basic need for our body is carbohydrate which helps us to give energy carbohydrate again i am telling you carbohydrate is an energy giving component when we take in all these food items we get energy are you clear next we'll go with fats so fat is also an energy giving food and provides more energy than carbohydrate it is also a form of energy giving food but when you compare to carbohydrate the fat contains more energy the fat contains more energy so the fats provide more energy than the carbohydrate so comparatively when you take in fats it contains more energy okay so okay what are the sources of fat we get fat from butter ghee milk cheese paneer nuts meat fish egg yolk and they are the rich they are the food items rich in fat what do the fat do our body normally the fat content in our body it helps to insulate and protect the cells it helps to insulate it helps to 
protect our body it helps to protect the cells okay so they are the forms of fat are you clear so let us see the sources of fat what are the sources of fat we get fat from butter ghee milk cheese nuts meat etc okay are you clear children so that's all we come to the end of this, this session so tarau be tarau on this topic revise then and there okay next class we'll start with the next topic protein okay thank you children